Hi, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the angelic realms and archangels in particular, why I work with them and why I love them so, 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 so much. Many of us are so familiar with archangels or the angelic realm because so many religious texts have described them to us and brought down that information. And it's such a good thing because at least now we all understand, or most of us understand, that there truly is another realm beyond what we see in the physical realm. So I'm so happy for all those people who brought, who brought this information to us and helped us understand that, you know, angels do exist. Yes, they do. Just like we have the crystal kingdom, just like we have the mineral kingdom, just like we have the elemental kingdom, the plant kingdom, the human kingdom. Yes, the angelic kingdom does exist. And you know, we can't even help it these days because the more we are raising in frequency, the more light and the more love is coming into our beings. We are elevating. And as we elevate, we are getting to begin to see things in different realms and to understand that we truly, 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 truly are not alone. And there are beings out there, there are realms out there, and they're all here to assist us. It's simple mathematics, the way I put it, because the more you raise in frequency, the more you attract on that level. This is my belief. The more you raise in frequency, the more you attract on that level. So it's all good, it's all light, and it's all love. The better you are, the, the more light comes into you, the more loving you, you, you are as a human being, the more that is reflected back into your life and life just becomes good. So angels are wonderful beings and they're here to love us and to support us and to assist us. And we should just be open to say yes. I'm one of those people who says yes, yes, yes to support from every realm. And so today I'm going to be talking about the archangels that I work with in my life and that have truly transformed my life. And there are five archangels. Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Jophiel, and Archangel Gabriel. I love these angels so much, and I'm so glad that they came into my life because once I understood the reason why they came into my life and who they truly were, it made all the difference. And I'm saying this because I, came from a Christian background. And according to that belief system that I was in, I was made to believe, or I rather I understood that angels were good. They were messengers of God. But a fear was sort of created in me that if I interacted with these angels, that I might be headed in a direction or to a place that would not be good for me in the long run. So I sort of always was afraid of angels. But I, in a way, I always thought to myself, if these angels were good for the ancients, if they did show up as they did in the past to bring good news, you know, to protect the people in the past, to interact with them, to shine the light, to guide them, to lead them, to deliver messages from God. If they were good for the ancients, they are truly good for me, especially now. If angels were good for the ancients, then right now, they're perfect. So that is really how I am sort of getting this information and trusting at this particular time. But I never always, I was always afraid of angels. I loved them, but that was the extent of my interaction. And the way I really got into trusting the angels was because of a fear that I had. I was always so afraid of getting into cars, especially cars that were operated by other people. As long as someone else was driving the car and I was in that car, I was not going to make, that trip was, was ruined because Caroline was in the car. I was constantly so afraid. I was afraid of speed. I was afraid of being in any vehicle that was going more than 40 miles an hour. I had this terrible phobia that every time I entered into a car, I would just sweat beads and bullets. I would be holding onto the car and just thinking that in the next moment that I was, the car was going to crash and that I was going to die. And I always had this weird belief system or thought pattern that anyone who was driving a car was on, on some sort of mission. And that mission was to crash. And that 
mission meant that my life would be ending anytime I entrusted myself or put myself in someone's vehicle. It was the worst fear ever. I cannot even tell you how that thing affected my life, but whatever, it was terrible. Anywho, one day I heard about the protection of archangels. And this was way after I had left, after my spiritual awakening in which I had left my church. <laughs> so I heard about the protection of archangels from a different source and that information came to me in such a way that resonated with me so much. I was so desperate for help because I was in such fear of my life and I heard about the archangels and the way the information was presented was that the angels were truly here to help us and to support us and Archangel Michael stood out for me as the protector, the mighty one. He's one of the five mighty ones that I truly, truly call upon in times of need. So Archangel Michael is one of my angels for protection. And I mean protection not from, from uh, others or for out of fear. I, I don't mean protection out of fear. I want to make this clear. It's not protection out of fear, but protection in the sense of adding more light and love into my life. We are now really operating not from places of fear, but from places of love. To when more light is added into our beings, we are protected by love and by light. And that is the energy that I choose to interact with and that I would encourage anyone to interact with, an energy that comes out of light and love, even in the form of adding additional light as a form of protection, as opposed to coming from a place of fear and separation from others. So that is why it's very important to always keep ourselves in a high frequency of light. So anyway, Archangel Michael came into my life. He is the warrior of peace and the warrior of truth. And he has the blue flame. So he's one of the angels that I began to call into my life to come in and bring peace to me and truth to me. And his blue flame into my life and into my heart. So on a general level, that is how he came. And before I go on with this, let me just make one thing clear. As we work with angels, just as we work with crystals, it's good to have the general information about angelic beings, but at the same time, it's always good to have a personal interaction with an angel or with, so that it becomes real for you. So you begin to know that, oh my gosh, I'm not just calling upon angels. I'm calling upon the angels because I feel the angelic power. I know they're here. I know they're real. So always aim to have that personal interaction with with angels just as you have with other beings like crystals but i'm also happy to say that i have learned that whether we believe those things or not they're always here working on our behalf and for our good and that is just enough for me so it doesn't matter so anyway archangel michael came into my life with this blue flame of peace and truth to reassure me so i call upon him for peace and truth and he personally shows himself up as an uh, his energy personally comes to me into my solar plexus chakra this is where i feel the most anxiety and his blue flame of peace and truth as he has personally revealed to me comes into my solar plexus to show me and to make me understand what it means to be peaceful about a situation that I'm thinking about and what is the truth about that situation so I can have that power to go forward. Then we have Archangel Raphael. I love Archangel Raphael. I call upon him all the time. He is his color is emerald green. He has that emerald green flame of healing. He's a healer. He brings healing to all of us. I'm telling you, he heals us on every level. So the way I understood Archangel Raphael. And the reason I love him so much is because I know he's an, a healing angel. And we know in some capacity, we are all healers. But one day I heard someone say something very interesting about Archangel Raphael. And that was how he comes in and he basically said, oh, you know what? You open up your crown chakra and open it up as a gas tank. And imagine me pouring into your crown chakra my emerald green elixir of healing. And then just imagine that healing energy coming through your crown chakra, into your throat chakra, into your entire body, into your heart, and just healing you. 
And the moment I heard that statement, my entire body just kind of resonated with that statement. And I truly began to see that for real. Oh my gosh, this is how he truly operates. He pours out his golden, his emerald green elixir of healing through our crown chakras into our body. So if you're going through any situation and you need healing of any sort, and you are ready to call upon Archangelic energy of Archangel Raphael, think about it like that. Just call upon that energy and just imagine him opening up Open up your crown chakra like a gas tank and let that green healing energy just come into your being. So Archangel Raphael is my favorite angel in that regard. Healing! And then the third angel that I love so much is Archangel Uriel. He has the silver flame. He is the flame of clarity. So his color is basically silver, pewter color. And he revealed himself to me and what information res resonated with me was that he is the bringer of the future. He brings the future into the now moment. His flame is silver and that provides clarity. That is what the future is. This is what you can envision with your eyes. This is what your dream about the future is. Now bring it into the future. And so Archangel Uriel brings the future into my life and into many other people's lives who believe that same vision. And how he revealed himself personally to me was that he was going to be operating through my throat chakra to bring clarity into my life. The throat chakra is usually blue in color, but we should always, always go by how we are guided. So Archangel Uriel revealed to me he was going to be operating, even though he's a silver flame, he's going to be operating through my throat chakra to help me bring the future into the now moment. The throat chakra deals with expression, with authenticity, with truth, with clarity of that expression. So he revealed to me that that was how he was going to work with me. Remember, there's a general way of seeing things and interacting with energies, but they, you also always have to follow your personal intuitive feelings and the personal messages that come through to you from any realm. So that's Archangel Uriel. And then there's Archangel Yophiel, who represents the magenta flame. I love Archangel Yophiel because he reveals to me, really, first of all, the magenta flame totally resonates with the third eye, my third eye. So he really represented to me a sense of awe and adventure, the adventure of going within, the awe and the wonder of discovering who you are within the realms. When you look with your inner eyes and with your mind and with your heart and go deep down and you begin to see all those magical things that are happening, who you can truly become, you truly begin to remember and you get that sense of awe and wonder. That to me is Archangel Yophiel. He is the bearer of the magenta flame and he truly, truly resonated with my, my third eye chakra and I, whenever I need to go within, it is him that I call to, so that I can be able to see that sense of awe and that sense of wonder and the adventures that my life is taking on and to say yes to them. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Once you begin to understand some of these things, it's just so thrilling. I, I, I'm telling you, it's just awesome. So I love, love Archangels. And then finally, I love, love Archangel Gabriel. Some people call her Archangel Gabriel, the male version. And some people see her as Archangel Gabriel. I see her as Archangel Gabriel, the female version. It doesn't even matter. You know, all Archangelic beings, as all human beings are, in a, are just energies. It doesn't really matter whether you are in this incarnation, in a male form or in a female form. It doesn't matter. We are all in the end energies. So how they we manifest to each other, depending on maybe our physical f parts, is as male or female. But at the end of the day, it's the energies that really count. We truly are one energy. So to me, Archangel Gabriel is, or Gabrielle is a female. So the way she has shown up to me, her color, first of all, is gold. The old gold color, Florentine gold. That is how I understand her and that is how it resonates with me. And the way she appears into our, in our lives. When I heard, one day I heard a message because the most of these messages, I, I get them and then I feel them it, for me. Is it true or not? So for me, I heard that, I know she is the messenger. She is the communicator. She's the lily of love. She's the trumpet of truth. She's the archangel that's always portrayed as the one bearing the, 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 the trumpet. When archangel 
Gabriel blows her trumpet. I'm telling you, everything comes to attention. The messenger of God is here and there's a message that we need to listen to. And she truly, truly resonates with my sacral chakra. And the sacral chakra is a chakra for creativity. So when she blows that trumpet, I know it's time for creation. I know it's time to have bubbles of joy because I once heard that she brings the gift of bubbles of joy and she pours out that gift upon us and she was actually asked the human beings to accept the gifts of bubbles of joy and those bubbles of joy come into my sacral chakra the way I see her and I resonate with that energy of creativity whatever it is that I'm doing I feel the bubbles of joy I ask for the bubbles of joy in every creative adventure because I know this is where she really really works for me personally Again, just to say, angels can show up in any form. There's a general way that angels are perceived. They're beautiful light beings of love, and they're here to support us and to work with us in unity so we can all, you know, accomplish the greater, greater good that the universe is here to create. But at the same time, they work with us specifically. And you might get information that's more specific to you in how the angelic beings work. So angels basically... According to my understanding, there's no hierarchy. The way human beings have been trained is that there should be some form of hierarchy. Archangels are greater than the angels or, 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 or the guardian angels. This is, according to me, or the way I understand it now, not truth. Archangels, whether they are the seraphims or the cherubims, the seraphims are the ones who defend the, thr the throne of God. They face the throne of God. Then we have the cherubims, those cute little ones, you know, <laughs> the cute little ones that we see on Valentine cards or in the churches that look like little baby angels. This is how they, <laughs> they present, they've been presented to humanity in a way that's easy for humans to absorb, but they really are not that. They truly are powerful beings and they, they are pure, pure love and they transmute, they transmit light and lots of love to all kingdoms in the earth and in other realms, and on other planets, and on other dimensions. So those are the cherubims. So we have the seraphims, then we have the cher uh, cherubims, and then we have the archangels, and then we have the angelic legions. And then we have the guardian angels who are here incarnating with you in this particular, at this particular time to help you, to guide you, to remind you of who you are. A magnificent, powerful being of light, radiant one. Yes, yes, believe that, yeah. So... We have all these beings, these levels, but they are not hierarchical. They are based on mission. It is based on mission and not hierarchy, the way the human beings have, have been trained to believe that, you know, the hierarchies and hierarchies. All are doing their functions according to mission, and none is greater than the other. We are all one. So, do you work with archangels? I would love, 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 love to know whether you work with archangels, how they're interacting with you, you know, have you seen them around? I know archangels appear to us in various forms. They appear in humanoid form as humans. You know, there's so many beings right now who are angels or who really have that angelic energy. Archangels appear just the way they appeared in days of old in human, human form. They appear as orbs of light, as streamers of light, you know, as flashes of light, as in very many ways, shapes or form, you can feel their energies. One day when I felt the presence of an archangel, it was the sound of a reverberating boom. I cannot tell you the sound of powerful wings. And I knew in my heart, my gosh, this is an angel. I did not know what it was, but I knew for a fact that, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Based on the experience I had, it was totally an angel and I loved it, loved it. So I know people work with archangelic forms in their work, you know, in, in life. They invite them into their homes. I, since my, my deep understanding of how angelic beings are here to protect me, my fear of being in people's cars totally uh, dissipated. And now I'm the one riding on the freeway, like, you know, no one's business. And I can get into anyone's car without any problem. So, yes. <laughs> yeah. So... Archangels have been so useful to me. I would like to know if you work with archangels. Oh my gosh, there's so much love and support. Be open, be ready. Just, it's such a blessing. We are living in such beautiful times. And I would like to know about your experiences with angels and archangels or things of that nature. Just be open. There's so much more. This is our time. It's a beautiful time. So guys, I'll see you next time. Keep your eyes open for the angels for they're all around us. I'll see you next time.
Love you. Bye.